Good afternoon, everybody. I have the S&P 500 once again on the weekly chart. And one of the things that we have told people, uh, I will go ahead and clear out some of these trend lines so that um, you can understand that when we uh, called the top, it was right up here. And there would be a big reversal. And, you know, what does a double top weekly reversal? The whole first quarter of 2017 to current is that this blue line is a rising 10 week simple moving average. Now, the prior week, last week, we had what we called a reversal and we did. And it was a fairly decent uh, pullback and the market is still, the bull market is still intact. But hey, I don't think that you should be buying and holding long stocks right now. A true and real bull market is going to make 52 week highs and they're going to pull back. This chart is very, very bullish except for one reason. We started, as everybody knows today, we started with a big gap down in the S&P 500. Okay. And that the sellers moved in and we came down here. And once again, um, we put in a bottom which was a support level right here. The red line is a rising 20-week uh, moving average. The market has been going up parabolically, high-frequency trading technologies, you name it, they've been able to do it. And today was a classical left elbow gap down and the buyers moved in right away. So the people that were not in the market who felt they were getting a deal, well, then you started having those people come in. So the 20 week moving average is at 2293 right now on that S&P 500. This is where we had one week. We had two weeks and then we had three weeks. And then on the fourth week, we had that bigger um, movement that you see on the chart right now. Now, having said that is what are going to be the leadership stocks? What do they look at on the 10 week moving averages in Google, Priceline, you know, your high beta, your Amazons of the world, and, and, and these kinds of stocks? So I will show a couple of more that are relative to what the SP 500 leadership stocks are doing. Um, so we have a major reversal. The topping pattern that we called for has definitely uh, had that reversal. There's the top. This is the 52 week high. And once again, when we go back over here, 2017, that uh, 10 week moving average has been going straight up. It's the first time this year that we have undercut the 10 week simple moving average and whatnot. And stocks followed it and here is here it is right here so basically the volatility is going to pick up considerably on the S&P 500 um, this is a time where markets need to pull back they need to set up um, buying opportunities better than what we see in the S&P 500 and so listen the pullback is not over that means that when we had this four week topping pattern again, this big red bar last weekly bar is going to be the ultimate resistance levels. So until the S&P can get back above that 10 week moving average, which is the blue line there, and it can hold as support like it did over here last week with the big uh, weekly reversal, these markets are in trouble. And we're letting you know that today and be cautious because you don't want to be aggressively long. Stocks are not on sale. 